Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika. As always, if you are a supporter of my channel, thank you for returning. And if you are a new supporter, a new subscriber, always remembering to hit that like button if of course you like the class and to subscribe so that um, I know what type of content to keep delivering to you and leaving a comment to let me know how you got on during the class if you enjoyed it maybe there were some things you struggled with um, I really enjoy reading those comments because it helps me out and it helps me with the deliverability of the classes that I create so for today's class we will be doing an evening yoga sequence and this sequence is for those days when you're pretty tired from your day but you also have that little bit of energy left where you want to you know move your body and kind of release anything that might have happened during your day. So this is going to be a very um, releasing, letting go type of practice. So for this practice, you are going to need one strap and two blocks, and we will go ahead and get started in a laying down position. So grab your strap. And let's go ahead and come all the way down onto our backs. Grab your strap. And we'll go ahead and first extend the left leg straight down onto the mat. Bend the right knee in towards your chest and strap the ball of the right foot. So the idea here is to, you know, not exactly relax the leg, but you're looking to push through the heel of your foot and gently flex the toes towards your face. Just... Nice deep breaths here. And that nice opening in the back of the hamstrings. Taking the strap now in the right hand, and you're just going to drop that right leg all the way down as far as you can go to the right. I just like to bend my elbow and rest my elbow on the floor. Go ahead and draw that right leg all the way back up. Grab the strap with your left hand. And you're just looking to draw the right leg slightly over to the left. So you want to make sure you're not lifting up your right hip. So the right hip is still grounded. And you should feel a nice stretch, nice pull through the right IT band, outer right hip. Bringing the right leg back to center, just remove the strap and just rotate the ankle in one direction. And in the other direction. And go ahead, bend that right knee, bring the right foot to the floor, bend the left knee, extend that right leg back down onto the mat and bend the left knee in towards the chest. Strap the ball of the left foot. And same idea here, really flex through the back of the heel. So you're looking to push the back of the heel towards the ceiling and gently flex the toes towards the face. Let's go ahead and take the strap in the left hand and draw the left leg 
all the way to the left as much as you can. Remembering to keep the flex in the foot. Go ahead and draw that left leg all the way back up. Grab the strap with the right hand and bring that left leg over towards the right. Just making sure you're not lifting your left hip up off of the mat. So it's very slight. Again, feeling that nice stretch in the left IT band, left outer hip. Head, bring that left leg back to center, remove the strap, and then just make some circles in one direction. And in the other direction. And just bend the left knee in towards the chest, bring the right knee to meet it. Just grab onto your knees and just rock from side to side here. So from here, we'll roll onto our side and come all the way up into a tabletop position. So from your tabletop position, we'll be taking a variation of child's pose. So bring your feet um, and your big toes to touch and bring your knees nice and wide, as wide as is comfortable for you. Send your hips back into that saddle you've created with your feet. And from here, you're going to bring your left temple to the floor. So once your left temple's on the floor, you're going to take your right hand and weave it underneath and the left hand as well. You can grab onto your feet. and just switch directions. And let's go ahead and remove the hands from underneath find yourself in a tabletop position. So from your tabletop position, we'll take a few cat cow. Just glance down through the gateway of your legs and make sure you cannot see your feet. So inhale here, belly drops, chin lifts. Really draw the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale. And exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Really push the floor away. Spread your shoulder blades wide. Inhale. And exhale. Two more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Coming back to a neutral tabletop position. So we'll be adding on from here and continuing with the cat cow. So on an inhale, belly drops, chin lifts, draw your shoulders away from your ears and down the back, inhale. 
Exhale, lower the chest and the chin. And inhale back up. Exhale, round. Inhale, belly drops, chin lifts. Exhale, chest and chin. Inhale. And exhale, round. Two more like this. Inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest and the chin. Inhale. And exhale, round. Last one. Inhale. Really draw those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, chest and chin. Inhale. And exhale to round. Inhale, find a neutral tabletop position. Tuck your toes under if they aren't already. And send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So let your feet here left and right. This might be your first downward dog of the day. So really just finding any small movements, whatever feels good. Nodding the head yes and no a few times. So from here, you're going to take your big toe and your second toe, and you're going to hug it behind the back of your left ankle and pull down. So you should be feeling a nice stretch to the back of the left calf, left hamstring. And we'll do the other side. So bringing the right foot down, taking the big toe and the second toe and hugging it at the back of the right ankle and pull down. Feels really, really nice. And go ahead and bring the left foot back to the mat. Inhale from here. Right leg lifts. Come up high into your left tippy toes. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee and step your right foot in between your palms. Bring your left knee to the mat. Inhale, arms up. So just take a moment here to settle. Notice if you're kind of just hanging out here in the pose, really make it nice and active. So draw your right heel towards your left kneecap and then tuck your tailbone under, increasing the stretch in your left hip flexor. For three, two, and one. Untuck your back toes, sink your knee forward and down. Bring your hands to prayer. Go ahead and open your elbows wide, bringing the back of your hand to the base of your neck. Inhale to lift up through the chest. And exhale, open the elbows wide and lean your head back into your palms. If you're doing a desk job, this should feel really, really nice. Pushing down through your left heel to help with, sorry, your left foot to help with balance. One more breath. And exhale, gently coming all the way back up. Straighten your right foot and bringing your fingertips on either side of that right leg. So you can shimmy your hips from side to side. Let's go ahead and turn all five toes to the right. 
So again, taking this stretch just a little bit more into your IT band. And of course, feeling a nice opening through the hamstrings. Really important to flex the toes towards you. Let's go ahead, bring the toes to point towards the ceiling again. Flatten that foot. So from here, you're going to take your back left toes and spin it so that now your left toes are behind your right heel. Once your toes are behind your right heel, bring both hands to the inside of that right foot and just enjoy the nice stretch here or you can come down onto your forearms. Nice deep breaths. One more breath. Push into your palms. Spin that left leg, left foot back to the back of the mat. Pick up the left knee. Step back with the right. Downward facing dog. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit more open through that side. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other. So inhale the left leg this time to lift. Bend the right knee, come up high into the right tippy toes. Bend the left knee, step the left foot in between the palms. Right knee comes to the floor. Inhale, arms up. And again, just notice if you're kind of just hanging out here. Make everything nice and active right through your fingertips. Pull your left heel towards your right kneecap for three, two, and one. Untuck your back toe and sink your weight forward and down. So really pushing into your right foot to help with balance. Bring your hands to prayer and bring the back of your hands to the back of your neck. Inhale, lift up through the chest and exhale, lean back, open the elbows wide. One more breath. And exhale. Coming all the way back up. Straightening now your left leg. Dig your left heel into the floor and spider your fingertips on either side of that left leg. Again, making sure you're flexing your toes towards your face. You can find a little bit of movement here. Let's go ahead, making sure you're digging your heel into the floor. Turn all five toes to the left. So getting a little bit more into that IT band. Go ahead and bring the toes to point back towards the sky or the ceiling, rock forward, flatten that left foot. And you are going to spin now your right toes. So your right toes are planted behind your left heel. And when you're ready, imagine you're sticking out your bum and then come down onto your forearms or you can stay on your palms. And if you have your blocks handy, you can always come down onto your your forearms on blocks. Let's 
take a nice big inhale here and side out push into your palms bring your right foot back to the back of your mat with your toes tucked under pick up your right knee and step back with the left foot all the way back to your downward facing dog so we should be feeling a little bit more loose a little more freedom in the hips so we're going to go ahead and open up the hips just a little bit more. So from here, flexing your right foot, you're going to cross your right foot over the top of your left kneecap. From here, with the foot flexed, come up high into your left tippy toes and bend your left knee. So again, imagine you're sticking your bum out, push the floor away. So pushing the palms towards the top of the mat, really feeling a nice stretch through the outer right hip. One more breath. So keeping this shape, you're going to come up high into your left tippy toes, round forward. You're going to bring your left foot behind your left wrist and your right knee behind the right. Once you're there, bring the right shin, right knee to the mat. Look over your left shoulder. Adjust the back leg as needed. So as always, if your hip is high from the ground, you can place a block or a pillow, making sure there's a nice long line from your toe to your knee. Inhale to find length. Square off through the hips and exhale to come down any amount. Two more breaths here. Let's take a nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Go ahead and push into your palms, tuck your left toes under, pick up that left knee, pick up the right knee, and step all the way back, downward facing dog. Feeling some nice cracks here. Let's go ahead and do the other side. You're going to flex your left foot this time and cross it over the top of your right knee. Make sure that foot is flexed, come up high into your right tippy toes and generously bend, or as much as you can, that right knee. And then send your hips up and back, push the floor away for three. For two. And one. Let's come up high into those right tippy toes, round forward, keep this shape. You're just going to bring the left knee behind the left wrist, right foot behind the right. Look over your right shoulder, set yourself up. When you're ready, square off your hips towards the front of the room or top of the mat and fold forward any amount.
Two more breaths. Take a nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Lift the gaze, push into your palms, tuck your right toes under, pick up your right knee, pick up your left knee, and step back, downward facing dog. So let's go ahead from here and just tippy toe our way all the way to the top of the mat. Once you're there, let the knees slightly bend, belly drapes over the thighs, and just allow the head to drop. You can nod your head yes and no. Sway from side to side. Let's go ahead and take your hands behind your low back. You want to hug your elbows towards one another and draw the shoulders away from your ears. You're then going to reach your wrists up and over any amount. Slowly release the wrists onto the low back. Bring your fingertips onto the floor. Gently bend the knees and bring your bum all the way to the mat. Here, extend your legs out straight onto your mat. Flex the toes towards your face, shoulders away from your ears. Hover the palms, hover the heels for three. Everything is nice and active, nice and taut. Two, and one. Gently release, drape the belly again over the thighs, reach for the toes, ankles, and just let the head drop. Opening the eyes and inhale to come all the way back up. You are going to take your right foot and cross it over the left leg and then bring that left foot by your right sit bone. So we'll take a twist from here. You can always leave this left leg extended if bending it is uncomfortable. Spider your right fingertips behind you. Inhale, left arm comes up. And exhale, you can bring your left elbow onto your knee. So inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Inhale lengthening and exhale to twist. One more inhale lengthen and exhale to twist. Gaze comes back first. Everything else, torso and chest follows. We'll switch sides. So extending that right leg now, bending the left knee over. Up to you if you want to keep that right leg extended or bend it. Find length here, inhale and exhale to twist.
gaze comes back first, torso and chest follows. Unravel the legs. Bring the feet to plant firmly on the mat and grab your block. You're going to place the block just behind you so that, well, I'll just demonstrate. When you come down, you want the top tip of the block to be at the bottom tip of your shoulder blades. So go ahead and come to lay all the way down. Might have to readjust depending on the size of your block. Oh, cactusing the arms. You can keep your knees bent or extend them down the length of your mat. A few breaths here. Three more breaths here. Let's take a clearing breath. Nice big inhale. Fill up all the way into the chest. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Bend the knees if your legs were straight down. Roll to one side and just come off of the block. And find yourself in your Shavasana. So really resolving to be still here, avoiding the need to fix and fidget, really settling now. Consider softening the lines around the forehead. Maybe slightly parting the teeth. Allowing the tongue to drop away from the roof of the mouth. Softening through the shoulders, the chest. Softening through the low back. Back of the legs. Really taking these moments to show yourself some gratitude for showing up to practice. But 
also giving thanks for the day. And all that transpired. So as always, feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this winding down evening flow. And maybe it now gives you the opportunity to have a restful, relaxing evening with family and friends. I look forward to seeing you back here for another yoga practice. Have a wonderful evening.